Now let's go over the catabolism of amino group nitrogen. Consumption of amino acids in excess of body needs cannot be stored, but are catabolized to yield energy. 5 to 10% of the total energy requirement of the body comes from the catabolism of amino acids. Compared to carbohydrates and lipids, amino acids are of secondary importance for energy generation, as their primary role is in body protein synthesis and the formation of special products, such as amines, porphyrins, nitrogenous bases of phospholipids, polyamines, etc. When amino acids are catabolized, the carbon skeleton is either converted to glucose or ketone bodies, while the fate of the alpha amino group is released as ammonia and carried to the liver where it is incorporated in the urea formation. Urea is the major nitrogen excretory product. The catabolism of alpha amino group nitrogen occurs in four stages, transamination, oxidative deamination, transport of ammonia, and urea synthesis. Let's go into more detail about these processes, starting with transamination. Catabolism of all alpha amino acids begins with the removal of the alpha amino group by a process called transamination. The only exceptions are lysine, threonine, glycine, proline, and histidine. In a transamination reaction, an amino group from an amino acid is transferred to an alpha keto acid, thus converting the alpha keto acid into a new amino acid. The original amino acid, after transferring its amino group, is converted to the alpha keto acid. The transamination reactions catalyzed by the transaminases or amino transferases are readily reversible and need pyridoxal phosphate or PLP as a coenzyme. In a transamination reaction, generally, an amino group from an amino acid is transferred to alpha ketoglutarate, forming glutamate, while the amino acid substrate is converted to a corresponding keto acid. Each amino acid that can undergo transamination will have a specific transaminase named after the amino acid that serves the amino group donor. For example, the enzymes catalyzing the transfer of the amino group from alanine and aspartate are termed alanine aminotransferase, or ALT, and aspartate aminotransferase, or AST, respectively. Pyridoxal phosphate is bound to the enzyme near its active site, both by electrostatic interactions and by a shift base bond with a lysine side chain of the enzyme. PLP helps in the transfer of the amino group from an amino acid to alpha keto acid via the reaction that follows a ping pong mechanism. Generally, alpha ketoglutarate is the acceptor of the transferred amino groups of various amino acids. In the process, it is converted to glutamate, which acts as a collecting point for the alpha amino groups. The biological advantage of collecting an amino group from amino acids in the form of glutamate is that only glutamate nitrogen needs to be handled by deamination and funneling of released ammonia into urea synthesis. Next, we'll cover oxidative deamination. Alpha ketoglutarate collects amino groups from amino acids in transamination reactions to form glutamate, and mitochondrial glutamate dehydrogenase catalyzes oxidative deamination of glutamate to release the ammonium ion, or NH4+, and alpha ketoglutarate. In most cells, the reaction that is catalyzed by mitochondrial glutamate dehydrogenase is readily reversible. It releases the ammonium ion from glutamate, or it can incorporate the ammonium ion into alpha ketoglutarate to form glutamate. Glutamate dehydrogenase is the only enzyme in the human body which can catalyze the reaction using either NAD or NADP as its coenzyme. NAD is used in the oxidative deamination of glutamate, releasing NH4+. NADH released during an oxidative deamination reaction is a welcome bonus, as it can be oxidized by an electron transport chain to get ATPs. NADPH is used in the fixation of the NH4 plus ion to alpha ketoglutarate 
to form glutamate. The concentration of the ammonium ion needed to form glutamate is in toxic concentration. Under normal conditions, this is rarely attained except in the paravenous region of the liver. Thus, the glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme's dominant role is in ammonia removal, and it is emphasized by its location in the liver mitochondria, where the initial reactions of the urea cycle occur. The activity of glutamate dehydrogenase is allosterically regulated by GTP and ATP, which act as allosteric inhibitors, whereas GDP and ADP are allosteric activators. Thus, lower cellular energy, or high ADP and GDP, activates the glutamate dehydrogenase to break down glutamate into alpha-ketoglutarate, which can get into the TCA cycle to give energy. Conversely, increased cellular energy, or increased ATP and GTP, inhibits this enzyme. Glutamate dehydrogenase is one of three mammalian enzymes that can fix NH4+, into an organic molecule. The other two enzymes are glutamine synthetase and carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1. Amino acid oxidases provide an alternate pathway for deamination. The L-amino acid oxidase can act on all amino acids except for hydroxyamino acids and dicarboxylic amino acids. The D-amino acid oxidase functions during the degradation of D-amino acids of bacterial origin that are absorbed from the gut. Both enzymes are present in the liver and kidneys, localized in peroxisomes where they generate hydrogen peroxide. In addition to glutamate, amino acids like serine, threonine, glutamine, asparagine, and histidine release NH4+. A major source of NH4 plus is bacterial metabolism in the intestinal lumen, where it is transported to the liver. In the intestine, bacteria act on amino acids and release NH4 plus. Urea is also cleaved by the urease enzyme into NH4 plus, which is converted into NH3 and enters the hepatic portal vein and travels to the liver. In muscles and the brain, but not in the liver, the purine nucleotide cycle releases NH4+. Glutamine and asparagine release amide groups as NH4+, by glutaminase and asparaginase, respectively. The glutaminase reaction is particularly important in the kidney, where the NH4+, produced, is excreted directly into the urine, where it forms salts with metabolic acids, facilitating their removal in the urine. Glutamate plays a pivotal role in the metabolism of amino acids. It is involved in both their synthesis and their degradation. Glutamate obtains its nitrogen either from other amino acids by transamination or from NH4 plus by a glutamate dehydrogenase reaction. Transamination reactions then serve to transfer amino groups from glutamate to alpha-keto acids to produce their corresponding amino acids. When the amino acids are degraded and urea is formed, glutamate collects nitrogen from other amino acids by transamination reactions. Some of this nitrogen is released as ammonia by the glutamate dehydrogenase reaction, but much larger amounts of ammonia are produced from the various other sources. Free NH4 plus is one of the two forms in which nitrogen enters the urea cycle. The second nitrogen for urea synthesis is provided by aspartate. Indirectly, the amino group nitrogen in the aspartate is obtained from glutamate by transamination.